I've got this Siberian Siberian troll he's my pet you ever have a YouTube pet and they just follow you around everywhere <laughs> You can tell that they're Russian by saying their comment out loud. So you put on a nice, like, Rocky and Bullwinkle vibe. And you say, I hope you get drafted soon. You'll be forced to lose 300 pounds before you get sent to Ukraine to meet Putin. Whenever you call him out, He's a coward. <laughs> he doesn't actually respond to any of the callouts. And of course, no videos. Because <laughs> I don't think they let you upload videos if you're a Siberian. <laughs> Dear haters, I have so much more for you to be mad at. Trump 2024, America first. And that's proof that they influence our elections. Or at least attempt. I imagine there's some Americans that are dumb enough to fall for it. Let's go way back here. I only started making these geopolitical videos because I'm a farmer. I'm a gardener. And these are the first kind of videos I was putting on YouTube. Model trains, dogs, heavy equipment, and then Putin invaded. So, seven months ago, I find my pet. <laughs> hey, you miner, I am the great gold miner. I pick my nose and they call me nose miner. <laughs> Oh my god, just upload one video. But you can't. Because you're running from the FSB. <laughs> At some point you complained about Putin and now you're trying to make up for it by... Out of Siberia! I can't do this with a straight face. Alright, <clears throat> get into the character. Where are Siberia 1, 2, and 3? Trump, all of your lame little worthless fixations, LOL. You're like nuts swatting at your own self. Look at your gas and energy prices after attacking Russia, LOL. At the pump you pay for Biden's war cry. <laughs> <laughs> that last one. I mean, not even trying anymore. At the pump you pay for... <laughs> The U.S. attacking it. So it's, what about Colonial Pipeline, huh? Feel free to join the fray on this one. Been a while since anybody else joined in. At one point, this guy said he was a veteran that had a purple heart and he was trying to pretend he was American back then. This is about six months ago. Where's another real fun one here? I don't even have that many views. I mean, the most views I get 16 on something entirely unrelated to geopolitics. So honestly, I think it's pretty hilarious that I've been singled out by this Nobody. Yeah, they really don't reply on uh, the ones where there's a lot of attention, relatively. <laughs> I mean, what I get the most, uh, two, not even 200 likes, you know. I bought a motorcycle off Amazon. Of course, the subterfuge in their minds, they're like, 
Hell, if we try to pretend like we're not aligned with China, they'll never know. You always have to hit newest comments to see them. If they're in Russia, if they're in China, Iran, or North Korea. And yes, the North Koreans are very active on the internet, on YouTube. They go through their firewall. And obviously, if they're in the military, they don't have a firewall. They're not just, you know, banned from the internet. And the decent American will always support by American. <laughs> then the traitor POS soy boy comes along and disrespects all Americans and tells everyone to buy from communist China. Every single veteran rolled over in disgust. So about a month ago, they're still trying to do this. I'm a veteran from America and I got a purple heart. And I just hate Joe Biden so much. They're still trying to pretend, right? Shaking head in disgust. <laughs> There's always some indicator in their comments. Like I'm saying, just say their comment out loud in a Russian accent. The sillier, the better. The more akin to Rocky and Bullwinkle, Boris and Natasha kind of thing, the better. <laughs> They're always afraid to leave their comments up. <laughs> they delete their own comments. I obviously do not delete their comments. I absolutely love <laughs> this for history, for, for my great-grandchildren, <laughs> I'm going to say. Oh, and I, I just kept throwing shit at the wall to see if it would stick because, I mean, everything that this guy has done going back to seven months ago has just reeked of old Soviet propaganda I used to study in my spare time just because I'm, I'm bored. Anybody else had their uh, comments responded to by somebody who sounds obviously Russian? Comment in the video and like and subscribe. I hate asking people to like and subscribe. I never do this. It's my first time ever asking anybody to like and subscribe. And it makes me feel weird. But there it is for the algorithm. <laughs> algorithm activate. Like and subscribe to my channel, bro. And all this. I mean, oh, it's just so... So cruel, these comments. Uh, my feelings are so hurt. <laughs> oh, I come from the music industry, man. I left the music industry because there's no real creativity anymore. Everybody just wants to backbite and play get back games. So I figured to myself, well, let's do it for the world. Let's do it for America. This is my channel. Subscribe to me. I don't have a lot of views and I'm not monetized. I don't see myself going monetized But if you've had experience with uh, a Russian or the Chinese do this too, the Chinese have their fourth branch of the army that uh, was broken off in 2016 and the fourth branch of the army is specifically just for information warfare so a lot of times you'll see these FSB types with the uh, Chinese information warfare types line up in the comments. Let me know if you've had any experience with that. Say it in a Russian accent, that's all you gotta do.